open admiration of this man, Gary Hart, has brought you into a rather strange si situation with this man, Kabuki. Well, it's all just. You see, Mr. Hart is the greatest wrestling manager possibly in history. And when he manages, he's not doing anything wrong. It's just public opinion that sways. Kabuki, they're in there using scientific moves. Oh, yes, I heard them say something about... Mr. Dusty Rhodes was attacked by Mr. Kabuki. Is that true? Well, there was some comment like that, yeah. That's exactly right, Mr. Sholey. There was some comment, but no one's got it straight. What happened was Mr. Dusty Rhodes gave it his best shot. With no rhyme or reason attacks Gary Hart. And what happens? He gets his tail kicked, doesn't he? Don't we have a film of Dusty Rhodes and Mr. Kabuki and Mr. Hart? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I think it would be interesting for those of you yes. who may be new viewers or may not be familiar with the great Kabuki, you saw him earlier uh, in a previously recorded interview with uh, Playboy Gary Hart. Let's take a look at the very man that both of these men were talking about, the great Kabuki. And uh, if we may, uh, Mr. Hart, I'll allow you the opportunity to offer your description. And I'm Mr. Piper, Mr. Soli. I apologize. No problem. Now, notice the squirm and the worm there. <laughs> what happened to the great Dusty Rhodes? He looks just like great in there, too, just like Phyllis Steele. Come on, come on, Mr. Dusty Rhodes. You see, an unprovoked attack, he's touching the referee. Is he not on the referee? There's no excuse for Dusty Rhodes to be molesting the referee. Dusty Rhodes, all as I see is a man squirming. You see, that? I, I got something. You see, I've done my homework. When Gary Hart turned me over, I do things right. Now, I want to show you a film of Kabuki, Mr. Dusty Rhodes, oh, master of psychology. I want to show you a film of just what Kabuki can do, so tune your little ears right in. <laughs> there you go. Talk about master of psychology. Look at Kabuki. How would you like the medium in the dark alley, huh? And the greatest manager in the world. Now, this, you've got to look at that. Look at that. One kick. One kick placed just perfectly. Three count. He doesn't even have to cover him fully. The man is obviously unconscious. Gary Hart coming in. A terrific move because what he's doing, he's not wasting time. He's not wasting energy. He goes right, knows what he's doing, goes right for the punchline. Now, now, you take a look here. Yes, maybe a little crazy. That's not bad. Look at it again. One kick perfectly placed. Is that not true? Of course that's true. There he goes. Ah, both feet on the stomach. Now he's just kind of playing. Well. He likes to have a little fun, you know. There he goes. And another three count. Now we're talking two men down. I ain't seen Dusty Rhodes beat nobody yet. Now here we go. What, what am I trying? Excuse me, am I talking about your people's heads? What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say one kick. One perfectly placed kick. One punch. And it does it. We're not wasting energy. We're talking science here. We're talking the kind of wrestling that I have developed. Look at this man. Look at the control he's got. Now, Dusty Rhodes, are you watching Mr. Kabuki? Oh, I see him. You see, the thing is, Mr. Soli, Dusty Rhodes, the master of psychology. What he's doing, he talks a big fight. I've been listening to the American Dream, and I told you what I think of the American Dream. He's been talking a big fight, but Mr. Kabuki, you see, he don't speak English. <laughs> now, what Dusty Rhodes does, he likes to psych out all his opponents. He don't speak English, and I don't particularly care about you, Mr. Dusty Rhodes, you see. You ain't gonna be able to psych me out because I am different from everybody else. I have intelligence. Something maybe that you're lacking a little bit. Oh, I seen him out here in the interview. Gets himself all painted up like Mr. Kabuki. A tremendous psychology technique. Comes in, Mr. Kabuki, I will be the assassin. <laughs> you're not playing with kids now, Mr. Dusty Rhodes, American Dream. You're not playing with nobody but people who want to eat steak. So you want to come out there and you want to give it your best shot, then you go ahead. But you will learn. You don't play with Mr. Kabuki and you will pay the piper. Uh, thank, thank you, Rodney. Uh, uh, Rod, obviously a very intense young man and uh, a little prone to get carried away. We'll be back in just a moment. Kabuki in a series of matches that have been videotaped. Mr. Soli, Mr. Soli, if you wouldn't mind, I would, I would prefer the honor to interview this man myself because I have some points with uh, the great Kabuki, and I would like to talk with Gary Hart. If you wouldn't mind, could I do it myself? Sure. Thank sure. you very much, Mr. Soli. Just excuse me. Mr. Hart, I'll just say sir. it's a pleasure here because as long as I've been associated with wrestling, if you talk about wrestling, you talk about Gary Hart. And you know the ins and outs, and you have a gentleman here named Mr. Kabuki that I have never seen anything in my whole life like it. 
and it, it's a tribute to you and a compliment to your not only to your style but 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 to your brain power what you've done with this man you know you are amazingly intelligent young man well, thank you very to realize much. that someone is that great i mean you must be a world thank traveler you. yourself i mean you've been everywhere i'm sure i've heard about you all over come this country from Scotland, if I'm not wrong, right? That's right, Mr. Hart. And I hear you play the bagpipes, just beautiful. Sometime would you do that for me, please? I certainly would. I'd be pleased to right Hookie now. Hookie loves bagpipe music. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. They play a lot of that in Asia, a lot of bagpipe music. I, listen, I would like to look at a film of Mr. Kabuki, and if you would, just tell me a little something about him. I've been watching him closely. That'd be terrific. As you can see here, Kabuki is wrestling two individuals. So you see a thrust kick behind the head, catches him with the elbow right into the solar plexus, thrust to the side of the head. You notice he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get excited, even when there's two people on him at one time. Doesn't get excited. You must have trained him to keep composure. To be honest with you, the man has got an ability that if it was eight or nine people out there, it wouldn't make that much difference, you see. What a machine. What a machine. Now watch this. This is beautiful. Oh! That was great. That was a thrust right up above, uh, right into the chest there. As you can see, one, two, three. Put that one away. Fantastic. You notice the man was completely out. He didn't even have to grab a leg. Though. Watch this. Him. This is great. Oh. Caught him with a thrust kick coming off the top rope. I've never seen nothing like that. He's amazing, isn't he? Truly is. You must have spent a lot of time. And what it is is your managing qualities is great. You must have a great fighter, but you have to know somebody that can handle him. And you are definitely the best. Is this a three? This is a three, I'm oh, sure. Oh, very good. Once he lays that in, they don't get up. Poetry in motion. Mr. Hart, you must be... Look at this. This is one of my favorite situations. Look at that. Yep. Bruiser Brody, 295 pounds, probably the toughest man in professional wrestling. But which Kabuki's gonna get him one more time? I want everyone to remember. That is Bruiser Brody, 295 oh, pounds, probably one of the greatest wrestlers that ever lived. But Kabuki got him down. Three. Well, it couldn't have been, could, might have been one of the greatest, but not the greatest, because Kabuki just obviously proved that, Mr. Hart. Yeah. You're obviously at ringside here, are you? Oh, yes. I want you to know that it's an honor to find somebody that has the intelligence in wrestling and knows science and can take somebody like this and, and, and do this with him and guide him along his path. It's a credit to you, truly, as a manager, and I guess that's what makes you number one. I think the only person that could probably do that other than myself would be a man such as yourself. Why, right? isn't that nice? It's such a pleasure. I'm going to give you something that's been very dear and precious to me for a long time. That's beautiful. You have a large hand. That's beautiful. This will signify to Kabuki <sighs> that you and I are as one. Huh? Now, if you would, please remove that beautiful camel hair jacket. I've never been more excited in my life. I want you to know this is the biggest step. The only person that's ever had this, what you're going to get, has been me. I want you to stick that hand out. Song, song. Like say, song. The color of money. You too have power. Let him see it. Now you also have the same power that I have. You have the control that I have. Do not, do not let it go to your head. Go as far as you want to go because you and him together, brother, it is better than me being there myself. Thank you so very much. That is beautiful. That is the greatest thing that has ever happened in my life. I love you. Oh, this is terrific. There is nothing that a wrestler could ask for more. There's going to be all kinds of people that are going to reap the wrath of Mr. Kabuki by the mind of you. Look at that. Now, gentlemen, just a minute. Just a minute, gentlemen. Beauty. Let me tell you something, Garden Soli. You just witnessed something it's maybe only taken place three times in our career and you make light of rodney listen closely for you mr hart dusty Rhodes, right here is just about finished i think now look at 
Look, some, somebody threw something in the ring. It was not most me. certainly did. They had no business roads, had no business in there. He's punishing the man that we love, the man that we respect. Look at what he's doing Who with that. Who threw that? Was that one somebody said in ringside? That was somebody said in ringside that threw that That's in there. That's what it looked like to me. Now look at him. That is totally against the rules. There was nobody doing nothing about it. And here I am sitting like a gentleman at ringside, Mr. Hart, and watching this happen. It's obvious that you're sitting there. You're not, you're not doing anything when no one else would do anything. You had to come and call it to their attention. So I took it upon myself to save a, a life. Rich, Mr. Kabuki was in trouble because of metal objects. Look at Dusty Rhodes now. He's asking to fight. He threatens you. I he, saw the motion. Look at him threaten you. Look at his fist taped up. Yeah. He's trying to do you some harm. Yeah, absolutely, he's trying to do me some harm. You I went over to you. check on Kabuki is all I was always doing, and I slid and right out of the ring. It's very obvious to me that uh, the only thing that actually took place there was somebody, someone threw something to Dusty. Yeah, I'm looking for and the, the referee. Yeah, look, you're trying to get the referee. You, a kind man. Thank you very much. Very time. I looked for the rough reader. Explain uh, what happened. Look at this. Now here comes Bob Armstrong what for no reason. That? Look at that. He's threatening me, oh. Bob Armstrong, and he was going to hit me. All I yes. was doing was trying to defend myself. You protect yourself. All I wanted to do was leave. Vision. Do you know what a risk this man has taken doing this? Well, it's I... not a risk at all because he has the great Kabuki. I right. just well, watch this very, very carefully now. With the kendo stick, it's Gary Hart, and uh, you see Kabuki watching. He can strike him a good block. Paint it again and again moves. Beautiful, beautiful. And beautiful. he has tried now for uh, different parts of the body, has not been able to. Uh... Notice the concentration on Kabuki. He, Hart even went for a thing there, went for a thing, meaning tried to hit him and then abstract him. was perfect, absolutely, positively perfect. All right, perfect. Tommy Rogers, I understand, is. And let's clarify a point here. Tommy Rogers is not an opponent, per se. Tommy Rogers will be coming out here attempting to, if he can, strike any portion of Kabuki's body. Uh, what you must understand, too, Mr. Soli, is this, what Mr. Hart is doing right now is people saying, oh, yeah, why don't you try hitting them harder, Mr. Hart? So Mr. Hart has stepped aside. So much confidence in this man. Now, here's a young fellow that's going to do everything he can. Now we're going to see something right on national television. That's, it's just truly incredible. All right, well, let's Rod, watch this. I want everyone to understand what the Dragon Shy is. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. And he is swinging that uh, Kendo stick. Hard. Now, 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 he, he is really hard. moving after him now, Kabuki. Look at that. Walking touch beautifully, I might add. Touch the body. He must touch Something the body. Thus far, he has been unable no, to. Not. It's and nothing, see? He's perfect. He's perfect. He got him. He got him. Look at that. And Kabuki suddenly retaliating there as he was caught. Kabuki, uh, his attention diverted momentarily, and now a Kabuki using the uh, kendo stick on uh, Tommy Rogers. Beautiful. And uh, Gary Hart trying to ah, uh, uh, Kabuki, and he is uh, he is having a problem handling this man. Rogers uh, beating around the head and shoulders as Kabuki just went uh, berserk here once he felt the sting of uh, that 